this tutorial, I'm going to explain how to add animations to your PowerPoint presentation. So uh, if you watch the transition episode, uh, that showed how uh, different slides could transition, like having fades or wipe-ins or wipe-outs or you know, different things like that. That shows how the flow of the presentation works going from slide to slide. Animations are what happens in a slide itself. So if you think of a slide as its own object, uh, everything that happens in the slide is what the animation is going to control. So say you want this rig flying out of one corner and the my rig title fading in and this text sliding up from the bottom or you know, anything like that. You can control all of that using the animation controls that PowerPoint gives. So uh, the one thing to know about this, animations are much more complicated than the transitions because you're dealing with a lot of additional things. It's not not just oh here's how the page slides in and out or anything like that you can add unlimited numbers of animations to every slide uh, so you have a lot more flexibility and control so uh, it's just important to know uh, that this is a little bit more complex and more advanced than the transitions so the uh, very first thing you're gonna do to add an animation is come up here to the animations tab at the top and then you're going to select whatever uh, item you want to animate. And the very first thing I do when I'm working with animations, because you have to look at them like they're in their own layer, uh, that every animation is its own layer. So if I'm going to apply two or three or more animations, I want to know when they're occurring. And a good way of doing that is by clicking this animation pane. So here, now every transition I add is going to be added here on the right hand side. And so what it's going to do is uh, let me play with it and control it. If I just started adding them without opening up this pane up, then things can start getting kind of complicated. So uh, click on the item for the rig. And right away you can see as soon as I clicked on it, now you have all of these different options you can pick from. But make sure you actually click this tab to open it up because you can see they're actually categorized. So with transitions, you just had a lot of different ones to choose from, but they weren't really categorized like this because this is all event-based. So you have entrances, you have emphasis, you have exit, and then you have motion paths, and then you have more entrance effects and more of each one of these. So uh, you can play around with this for years, I think, because there are so many different ways that you can customize this. Um, but we're just going to kind of go through an overview on how to customize these, and you can play with them um, more yourself. So the very first thing I'm going to want to do, I want to have kind of classy type of uh, animations. I don't want things flying in all over the place and looking weird because that's uh, I don't see any point to that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a entrance effect to this image and it's going to be a very simple fade in and you can see that gives you a short preview of it and you can see a couple things happened when I clicked fade in. One, this stays selected. So if I want to take this off, I have to go to None or come over here to my Animation pane, click on this little arrow, and click Remove. Um, but I want to actually add more to this. So um, what, the way you do that is uh, you come up to Add Animation. And I want to add another fade, but this is the fade on the exit. So now it's going to be fading in and fading out. Uh, so you can come up here to play from and you can see that it shows you it coming in and coming out. Uh, now we can see what this really looks like by actually going up top and playing it. So it shows us our first page and then shows us the second one when we click next and there's our fade in and our fade out. Now we have this still on automatic so uh, let me go turn that off on the transitions Let's see. Yep. I don't want that there you go okay and come back to animations 
and let's try that one more time okay coming to the next slide okay and now you see one thing you have to be aware of when you add an animation there is an uh, event from the user that has to happen unless you tell it otherwise right now there's no rig there's no image and that's because by default all the animations require a click so if I were to click my mouse there it is and if I click it again there's my fade out and then I click it again and it moves on to the next slide so let's hit escape because there are some times where you would want that where uh, say you're giving a PowerPoint and you're doing like some type of uh, layered pyramid display and you're wanting to say okay here is uh, you know the bottom of the pyramid and then you talk about it for a little while and then you click your button again and here's the second layer of the pyramid and you go all the way up so sometimes you do want to have the ability to make sure that that next layer doesn't load and the animation doesn't load until you want it to and that's fine that's the reason why it comes this way by default however there are some times like in the case right here I don't want to click my mouse in order to have that image load I just want to have a nice little delay and then have it automatic the way to control that is come right up uh, click on that animation and come up the top you see where the start is on click I don't want that I want that to be with previous and so I click on with previous and then here this is gonna be on click again and with this one I want to do after previous on the first one I want a delay of half a second and on this one let's see what happens when I go just like this I don't care how many times you do this you're gonna always play with it I've been doing this for years and still uh, need to practice it in order to make it work right so click start and now we will see what happens so I'm going to click next you can see it loads and there that's perfect well I should say it's almost perfect that image loaded perfectly uh, and so it loaded up it faded in right when I wanted to but then did you notice it came in and then faded right out that's not what we're looking for so uh, the very first one worked well the exit effect though was not what we wanted so I'm gonna come up here I don't want after previous or with previous let's see I want that okay and let's see what this does and there you go that loaded up perfectly so now when I click that fades away and then we move on to the next slide so that's how you can add animations right there now to show you kind of a neat visual on how to how else we can use animations I'm gonna to come to this slide right here and I'm gonna do what I was talking about with the pyramid and so I'm going to come up and add a shape so we'll come and let's see what kind of shape we want let's see we'll go with this one and then we'll add some text on top of it I should say right here point one and you can play around with this as much as you want um, like I said animations really are best explored uh, over hours and hours of time so you can play around with it um, I'm just gonna 
I just want to show you some of the other things that you can do that are pretty interesting in different ways you can actually apply this type of uh, this use case. I'll go here, that's point two, duplicating it. Shrink this one down. And this is going to be point three. And for the sake of brevity, I am just going to put only one more in. Let's shapes. Let's go with the triangle to top off our pyramid. Okay. And a word art deal. This is going to be point 0.4. Okay. So you can adjust these. Yeah, however you want. Um, this isn't really for design. This is solely for just showing you how to use animations in kind of a tiered format. So we're going to come up to Animations tab, and I'm going to select both of these items. And I selected it by clicking on the back one first, clicking, holding down the Shift key, and then clicking there. And I want to make these let's see let's do something a little bit different um, let's go with a float in okay and that looks good and on these I'm gonna do the same thing with another float in float in number three and then I'm gonna do a fade in on this one and so look at our pane right over here. You can see we have a very nice array of all of these items. And so when we come up to our slide, I'm going to skip ahead here a little bit. And here is, oh, look what happened. That was not what we were looking for at all, was it? So come back, and now we're going to have to see what type of things we're going to have to change in the settings. So the very first thing we're going to do is click on this. And see, OK, we want this to start on click. And same thing. We want this to start on click. Oh, hit Control Z because we actually do want that to start with previous. So what exactly is making all of them happen at one time? Let's see. This one should be on click. They all have their own unique starts. So, should be on click with previous, on click with previous, on click. Interesting. Let's see. Okay, this may be the issue. Highlight all this.
Okay, let's see if this fixes it. And we'll come up to slideshow from a current slide. And I think I just figured out our bug. Back from one of our previous tutorials, I still had that selected. Let me see if this fixes it for us. Because that, what that will do is it will automatically cause all of those to click. So let's try this again. Have that one loading too fast. Let's see. Our point number three one is actually getting loaded. And also what you can do if to troubleshoot this is drag these here and you can give yourself a little bit more room. Let's see. There, there. Oh, well, that would definitely explain it. Uh, this one somehow did not get selected. So we will add that. And move it up here. And we will have this. Actually, I didn't do that the right way, just so you're aware. Um, let's see. You want to move earlier. There you go. And then move this so that it is after previous. Okay, let's see if this fixes our problem. Point one, point two, point three, point four. So that works very well. Now if you want to also add even more customization, such as being able to control when these play, I can make it so that happens on click. This one happens on click. Let's see. These happen on click and on click. Let's see what that does. Point one, click it again. Point two, point three, and point four. So, just a, there's a lot of different ways that you can customize these. As you can see, there's a lot of troubleshooting that also has to occur uh, when you're building out these animations. So, just make sure you give yourself plenty of time before you build them in and um, uh, just let me know if you have any questions as you're doing it because there are definitely some things that can get more complex in it. So let me know if you have those questions and good luck building those animations.